These drivers just can't keep the car on the track. This is treacherous conditions here at Mid Ohio. Watch for the wolf. He's he's coming here. Patrick Bond still these. leads the class, but yes, he is smiling right now. Look here comes the other Corvette as well. This is almost like the second half of the season that uh, begins here at Lime Rock because we've had a couple of months off while the teams go off to Le Mans. When we started the race in ninth, we were able to immediately move up a couple positions to eighth or seventh, I think. Uh, and then as the stint ran on, we actually got stronger and stronger and stronger as everybody started to drop off. So we were able, at the very end of my stint, able to get into fourth place. We just had one little issue, so we needed a bit of a pit stop. We got one when we wanted it. Good pit stop, we gained about four places just in pit work. Later in the race, they saw there was a problem with the fuel pressure. I uh, did maybe three or four seconds slower lap times than the cars behind me. We were still on third position and it looks like it was a little bit too much. And we finished third, but uh, the race control decided to give us a penalty for, I think, 90 seconds. Mossport. It's more enough than not kind of a medium fast track. We were fortunate enough to make a pretty good start um, and there was a few things happen in front of us which uh, helped us with some of the track position and so we came in seventh and we went out second. Unfortunately shortly thereafter uh, the officials decided that uh, Wolf uh, prior to the yellow over past two cars uh, when it was a yellow flag. So uh, we got penalized. Any advantage we gained in the pit stop was immediately taken away from us. In my opinion, if they had an issue with us, they had plenty of time to penalize us. They could have said, let the cars go by. They could have told us to go to the back of the field. There's any number of good calls that they could have made, but they didn't. And to me, that was the chief steward, not a good call. Guys behind me are working on the race car. We're getting ready for the afternoon practice and, and the qualifying because it's back to back. So Mid Ohio is a is a tire eater. It really works the tires hard. It was complete chaos at the beginning, and it usually is here at the back straightaway. Uh, everybody tends to go a couple cars wide here and really fight to make the corner at the end of the back straightaway. I guess probably 10 laps or 15 laps into the race, uh, I got hit from behind really, really hard by the Ford GT. I mean, that really cost us a lot of time and a lot of positions. Uh, it looked like we were going to have a rough go at it for a while, but it worked out really well. Things really went our way. We got there. We were in sixth when I came in the pits. Until it started to rain a little bit and the, the track uh, started to be slippery on slick tires, so the team watched uh, the lap times and watched what other teams are doing, and finally they called me in for rain tires. That was our secret missile, our wet tires, so we really hoped uh, it was going to rain. Wolf took over. Ran in sixth, went full course caution, uh, and when it went green, it was he was in a different world. The rain stopped, and the, the track uh, started to, uh, the, let's say, the race line started to dry a little bit. And I called the team, hey, uh, we need to go back on slicks, and they said, no, no, we need to stay on, on rain tires. 
I stayed out for a couple of laps, but it, it, the rain didn't really come, and all of a sudden there was so much rain coming, and I thought, okay, the team made a decision and uh, made a, the right decision. So the, 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 the race went back to green, and uh, I immediately started to overtake cars, and I felt, wow, this is uh, really going good, and I, I can pass the cars easily. And I've been in racing some sort of number of years, but I have to say Falcon has the best wet tires. I saw cars spinning off the track, and uh, but it was dangerous to drive. I couldn't, I couldn't do more than 40 or 50 miles per hour. And we did a couple of laps. We drove really slow, and finally they put a red flag out. We, we drove uh, in the pit lane and stopped there, and just the, the clock was running, and we waited till the race was over, and then uh, <laughs> we won the race. So it's it's unbelievable. I mean, we, we were close to a podium finish at Limog, and and now we are on the podium, and uh, we are on top, and we won the race. So. <laughs> Uh, first, second, and third in GT today here at the Meadow.